What is up guys, TK here, and um, this is a new tutorial. Um, I'm very sorry for um, not like being able to do more tutorials, but I've been quite busy these last weeks. Um, I've been working a lot on the dual -taj, um with me and Bolt Action, and I've also been in Sweden these last few days um, skiing. But now I'm back, so I'm going to try to do the tutorials that you requested, and this tutorial will be trying to make objects or text um, like text look um, realistic in your scenes from any game. And before we start the tutorial, I just want to point something out. Um, one week ago, or like more than a week ago, I made a Mono for 3 info video about the new patch. And I literally just worked about two minutes on that. Like I recorded it, which took one minute, almost one minute, <laughs> and then I rendered it out. And this has gotten 16,000 views, okay? Now, this kind of <laughs> messes with my mind, okay? You see here, like, it has gotten so many views these last days. I think about 2,000 views per day. And um, <laughs> it's quite insane, because I worked two minutes on that. And let's just say, for example, the, <laughs> the montages or the movies that I've made. I've worked months with these stuff, and they get at less than half the views. Ugh, I just, uh, I don't get it, but <laughs> I'm happy that, like, that I'm getting all these views, but I would really um, appreciate it more if people, I don't know, I got more views on my other videos that I work hard on instead of just like <laughs> with videos where I talk about something random. Uh, Alright, anyways, sorry, yep, <laughs> sorry about that, I just wanted to get that out there for some reason. Okay, so um, let's start the tutorial. So here I have my 3D tracked scene. Um, I I will not do a tutorial on how to 3D track, but if you request it, I might do one. Um, I say that I might do one because there are already so many on YouTube, so you know, if you want to learn how to motion track, you don't need me to do a tutorial since there are many out there already. But anyways, um, so this tutorial is going to be about making objects or text look realistic in your 3D scene from, for example, Mono for 3. And, um... I'm not an expert at all, like, I just do what I feel is right, so, for any, um, like, I don't know, professionals that are watching this, um, don't, like, blame me if I'm doing something that's technically wrong, but, like, it's, it's just the way that I do it, so, I'm just gonna share that with you. So, first of all, I'm just gonna put in my 3D object, which is gonna be, um, the, uh, there we go, the Sparkles logo, I'm just gonna have to delete all these other stuff around here. Okay, so there we have our logo. Just gonna scale it up here. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Ah. Uh, hold on here. Alright, there we go. Let's see. A bit bigger, maybe. There we go. Oh my god, something is weird with my um recording program here. Uh ha ha. I can't even move it around. Uh let's see. No, I can't move it around. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna stop recording um for a second so I can move my object um to where I want it to be. Um sorry, but obviously it just doesn't want to move when I try to do it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to stop recording and then I'll be back when I have put the logo where I want it to be. Alright, so I figured out what my problem was. Um, for some reason, like, if I, um, if I choose the setting hide cursor, like hide the mouse cursor in the recording program, then everything works fine. So, so there's something wrong with my Camtasia, but anyways. Um, you won't be able to see the mouse cursor, but I'll explain everything I'm doing, so it shouldn't be a problem for you to uh, keep up. So, um, alright, now I've placed um, the uh, logo where I want it to be. Now the next thing is to make a floor, because we need some shadows um, in the scene to make it look realistic, so it fits. So let's go ahead and make a floor, like that. And um, I'm going to have to drag it down a bit, because um, the logo kind of goes under the floor. As you see, um, here it goes with the grid, but that doesn't really matter. Let's just move the floor down. 
Okay, and um, if you're doing the same thing that I'm doing here, like with a 3D track scene and everything, then um, what you're gonna do to like make the floor look as it's inside the scene, because you see now it's like it's covering the whole. I mean, it's covering half of the screen. Um, so see, um, the material that you have as your background, basically this AVI file, which is um your video or whatever, like the 3D interactive video, you can drag that material onto the floor and then click on the floor um, material, like click on the material to the right of it and set the projection to frontal. Okay, now that's just the beginning. Um, if you render out now, you'll still see like it's covering half of the screen. So, uh, sorry, um, right click on the floor and uh, <coughs> Go to Cinema 4D Tags and Compositing. And after you've done that, this menu should open up down to the right. Then click um, Compositing Background and then unclick Self Shadowing. Alright, so it should look like this. And now if you render out, you'll see it like it's like the floor wasn't even there. Um, you'll get these weird edges on the sides of the video, but this will not be rendered out, so don't worry about that. Okay, and um, to get some shadows, you need a light. So um, go ahead and create a light, and you're gonna want to drag this light up. Um, depending on the shadows in the scene, um, like sometimes the, sh the sh there aren't any shadows in the scene, but here we have some shadows. You can see um, let's see here, the brick down at the right it has a shadow, and the shadow is on the right, which means that the um, the light is coming from the left. So then we're gonna have to drag our light. Uh, let's see here. Over there, approximately. All right, and now let's see if it works. Um, light, and then select soft shadow, and then render it out. So you see that the shadow kind of has the right direction, but this the shadow is of course extremely uh, <laughs> ugly <laughs> because you haven't uh, modified it yet. Because you have to modify it to make it look good. So um, I think the angle is a bit wrong still. So I'm just gonna move around more on the light just to get the right angle of it. Uh, a bit more, I think. Alright, so now I have the same angle approximately. Okay, so I'm just going to go into the shadow settings on my light here. And I'm going to want to make it look as like the same as the shadow of this brick on the right. So, first thing I'm going to set the color to um, about that gray color that it is there. <laughs> Alright, see it's it's still a bit too dark, so let's set the density down a bit more. And um let's see. Alright, there you see that we have almost the exactly same um looking shadows from the logo that we put in and the brick on the right. So that makes it that like that makes a huge difference whether it looks uh, realistic or not. Okay, so next thing is the lighting. So I'm gonna want to just put a light in front of the logo so you can like so it's bright. And I'm also going to put some materials on it. Um, let's see, I'm just going to try out some materials here. Because I'm going for a very, very basic uh, style. So I'm just going to do this now, like just a pure um, gray material. Like that. And that's basically it. I'm just making the lighting um, look alright. And then matching the shadows in the rest of the scene. Now these are the most important stuff. Because I've seen so many people um mess up the shadows so like you can easily see that um it's made in some 3D program. Uh well, <laughs> yeah, you understand like it looks so unrealistic. So remember to make the shadows fit the rest of the scene and also the CC like the color correction is also uh it, al it also ma matters a lot. But that's like out of um well that's in Sony Vegas or After Effects. So you don't have to worry about that. Like this is just 3D editing part. So um, thank you for watching and I hope this helped you and um, just request more tutorials if um, you want me to do some and uh, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, thank you for watching, please subscribe and see you next time.